Now on the screen itself, you can see here the weightage of the topic. It's two questions in JE, and this chapter is not there in MHCT syllabus from 11th standard. Now do not think that this chapter is not there. And if you are focusing on CET, why to do this topic? Absolutely a lame excuse you will give because look at this particular screen. The later part, what I've written. This chapter is going to be linked to totally six chapters of your syllabus. And it's a foundation for S block elements in 11th, P block element of 11th, chemical bonding of 11th, P block of 12th, D block, F block chemistry and coordination compounds. And all these six chapters are there in the CET syllabus. So don't imagine that hum log JE nahi karne wale, CET karne wale, ye topic kyu kare. So from understanding point of view, this topic has to be done really very strong. In fact, this topic only enlarges to become these six topics later on. There are three sections in the topic. You can see the upper part here, the historical view, block-wise classification and then periodic properties. Out of which the first and the second point is portion for our today's lecture. And periodic properties will be dealt in the Tuesday lecture, which will be, if you remember, I told you, will be our last lecture of this year. So let us start with the things and those who attended HSC part of so, it. So, so, like how, huh. so, so like how are we going to make a self notes for this? Uh, I will send the PDF. I will tell you, go on doing it I, on a screen basis. I will tell you, you note down the screen if you want, because, uh, you know, things are quite large over here, but I'll tell you where, what is to be remembered. Yes, sir. Okay. So what about the doubts in the Friday's test? After class. Ah, okay. End sir. of the class. Yeah. We'll do it. Some of you already sent me the doubts and all. So let us, there are some corrections and all we'll do them. So first is why we need to go for the classification of elements. Why can't we just keep the elements, its data as it is, and perhaps study them just alphabetical order also. Some of you may think alphabetically elements ko seekhne, kya farak padta hai? It's not that way. Because as you know, historically, when Dalton gave its theory, at that time, around only 31 elements were known. So chemistry or overall science was not very advanced at that time. So 31 elements, they could manage very well for understanding basis. But as time progressed, science progressed, next 60, 70 years, the element number became almost double. And by 2005, the entire periodic table was known. All 118 elements were known. Some of them were uh, synthetic elements. Majority of them were naturally occurring elements. So out of 118, first 92 elements up to uranium, they are found in nature. While 93 Neptunium onwards, all are man-made elements. These elements are also called trans-uranium elements. After uranium, trans-uranium. We have started now taking inorganic chemistry from today. One of the foundation chapter was structure of bond, atom. This is rather more related towards inorganic chemistry. Inorganic chemistry, ka ek cheez aapko dhyan mein rakhna hai. you have to know the NCRT textbook 100% perfect for GE. And our GTB, Maharashtra government book, is just a copy of NCRT almost. So they ask you questions from NCRT literally line by line. So what I have done over here is while making these slides, I have kept NCRT in front of me. Point wise, that paragraph wise information I have just made into slides. So if you know these slides very well by heart, your topic is almost done. I will show you also how questions are asked on this topic later on. We go for the first part today. That is how historically the periodic table was developed. The first important discovery was Dobe Reiner's law of triads, Newland's law of octave, Lothermeyer's earlier periodic table, followed by Mendeleev's periodic table, then came modern periodic table, and then what we are going to study, which is modern 
long form periodic table now what is, what are the differences in these uh, overall discoveries these first two discoveries are extremely old as you can see they were there actually based only on atomic weight concept and very few properties of elements actually lot of details only were not known in those period lothermeyer and mendeleev are actually speaking true periodic tables again based on atomic weight but based more on chemical properties the concept of periodicity was discovered by newland for the first time modern periodic table is based on atomic number that is moseley's periodic table this one is a totally different one although based on atomic number but actually based on quantum mechanical model and by quantum mechanical model we mean use of orbitals spdf orbitals use of aufbau principle pauli's exclusion principle all these things are used over here in this periodic table so this is the basic differences you can see between the periodic tables okay uh, this writing won't come perhaps on pdf so all of you please take a screenshot of this and if you are going to write these points just add these special things in them let us do these discoveries very fast first is doberiner's triads as you know doberiner did a kind of a mathematical study with respect to their atomic weights he made the elements in form of group of three elements which is called triad and he found out that atomic weight of the middle element is an average of first and third atomic weight of the elements these group of elements were called triads and the law at that time or the observation was termed as law of triads go through this any doubt you can ask me or we see the examples after this one of the example which he discovered was lithium sodium potassium now if you see the atomic weights of lithium and potassium and if you take an average of it it comes out to be 23 which is coincidentally the atomic weight of sodium so first triad you will remember is lithium sodium potassium then comes calcium strontium barium and the average 88.5 came out to be 88 in reality chlorine bromine and iodine the average of them was rounded off almost for bromine 80 so Now, we have to memorize this uh, yeah i'm just coming to that just you have to memorize the group of elements not the values okay sir okay so these uh, examples are mentioned in textbooks so you have to know because they can ask you an exam which of the following is not doberiner triad or which of the following is a doberiner triad so just remember the simple examples very easy actually speaking later on scientists also tried to make these observations with remaining part of the periodic table but in reality this law doesn't work for the entire periodic table just yes, so just selected selected elements and success wise now this is of course a limitation but what is the success you can see here is the groups what you see here these are current periodic table ka group number 1 yes. alkali metals alkaline earth metals and halogens so doberiner actually indirectly discovered these particular groups what you see today in periodic table please go through this aap log agar kuch note down karne wale ho to itna cheez dhyan mein rakhna kya kya likhna hai aapko wo likh ke rakho so doberiner triads mein se aap log example yaad rakhoge atomic weight not needed just go on uh, noting down aapko kya yaad rakhna hai kaun se slide mein se jab aapko pdf aayega to you can make your own notes 
सर लिमिटेशन यू हैव टू राइट लिमिटेशन यू शुड नो यस लिमिटेशन पता होना चाहिए ट्रू और फॉल्स में वो लोग पूछ सकते हैं इनफैक्ट पूछा भी है इसके पहले आप 20 दिस वन 2020 और 2021 के पेपर लिखो के तो यहां पे लिखा नहीं क्या लिमिटेड टू ओनली लिमिटेड नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स या लिमिटेड नंबर दैट्स इट यस दैट दैट्स अ लिमिटेशन यस नथिंग मोर देन दैट एक्चुअली अनदर लिमिटेशन लेकिन वो लोग बोलते नहीं है इज दीस एटॉमिक वेट्स व्हिच वर देयर दे आर क्वाइट एप्रोक्सिमेटेड यू कैन सी 88.5 है उसको 88 मिला है 81.25 उसको सिर्फ 80 मिला है सो लॉट ऑफ एप्रोक्सिमेशन हैज बीन डन दे आर नॉट एज एग्जैक्ट एज एक्सपेक्टेड सो मैं आस्क वन क्वेश्चन बोलो यू माइट फाइंड इट स्टूपिड सो व्हाई डू वी इवन नीड टू नो अबाउट दिस कांसेप्ट सर व्हेन इट्स completely if incorrect if i tell you directly about law of, uh, if i tell you directly about modern long form periodic table you should know from where it has come and what is the development of it oh okay right you cannot directly yes. do a most modern thing unless you know how the things were developed isn't it yes sir now it that, that is the thing that's the only uh, there are you know abhi hum log jo kar rahe hain na dobe reiner octave whatever we are only doing the important historical parts if you go on wikipedia and see there are more than 16 17 scientists names who has done kind of classification but they were utterly flop so we are not studying them we are only studying what is like sensible kind of discoveries next is newland's octave many people teacher even read this wrongly as octet this is no octet octet rule karke alag aata hai eight electrons in outermost orbit that is a different thing this is octave which is actually word from music he has used so perhaps you remember newland's octave was basically arrangement of elements in increasing order of atomic weight and what he found out was every eighth element is similar to the first one so few of the octaves what he found out or group of elements what he found out were like this now this was rather a mini periodic table only he has discovered you can see lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen dekho isne atomic weight ko increasing order mein likha hai this becomes like first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth element behaves exactly similar to first one behaves in the sense it has similar chemical and physical properties again after chlorine potassium will behave like sodium and lithium the relationship what he found out was something like musical notes that's why he called it octaves in limitation you can observe that after fluorine neon or after chlorine argon is not there kyunki newlands ke time mein wo discovered nahi hua tha if he would have added them over here the whole table would have disturbed octave concept nahi aata tha usko मोर ओवर कैल्शियम के बाद ये ऑक्टेव का कंसेप्ट दिखता नहीं है बिकॉज आफ्टर कैल्शियम ट्रांजिशन एलिमेंट्स विल बिगिन और जैसे ट्रांजिशन एलिमेंट चालू होते दे विल नॉट मैच विद द अपर एलिमेंट्स दैट इज वाई दीज आर द लिमिटेशन ऑफ इट यू कैन रिमेंबर इन न्यूलैंड ऑक्टेव दिस पर्टिकुलर सिक्वेंस एटॉमिक वेट याद करने की जरूरत नहीं है बिल्कुल एंड लिमिटेशन दिस यू विल रिमेंबर इन योर शॉर्ट नोट्स so can i repeat this table without values and limitations okay sir we go to real more serious kind of periodic table thing which is lothar meyer's arrangement lothar meyer actually studied the physical properties of elements whatever known in his time like melting boiling point thermal conductivity etc etc and from this we will be he tried to make make a kind of a periodic table in fact he was actually the first periodic table only difference is he actually made first of all a graph observed the properties then converted it into a tabular form so the go through this before i show you the graph and the observations now one of the graphs which is now available uh, most of the graphs available on internet and textbooks they are quite modern ones not the real lothar meyer's work 
क्योंकि उसने इतने सारे इसमें एलिमेंट्स है जो एक्चुअली लोदर मेयर के टाइम पता ही नहीं थे बट दे हैव ट्राइड टू मेक अ मॉडर्नाइज ग्राफ सो वॉट आर द ऑब्जर्वेशन वी कैन सी ओवर हियर थी पीक्स इन द ग्राफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर यहां से चालू करेंगे लिथियम सोडियम पोटेशियम रुबीडियम ऑल द पीक्स वॉट यू कैन सी दे आर अल्कली मेटल्स lesser electro positive alkaline earth metal will just immediately follow in the descending manner so lithium ke baad niche beryllium sodium ke baad niche magnesium potassium ke baad yahan calcium and so on then electro negative elements occupy ascending position upar jane wala to so, dekho yahan pe ye fluorine hai here chlorine bromine so they are going upward after that If you originally see Lothar Mayer graphs and all, उसमें हेलियम वगैरह है ही नहीं क्योंकि लोधर मेयर के टाइम हेलियम डिस्कवर नहीं हुआ था सो लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स वेर मिसिंग बट दिस इज द न्यू ग्राफ वॉट यू हैव फ्रॉम ऑल दिज ऑब्जर्वेशन आपको शॉर्ट नोट्स के लिए ये ऑब्जर्वेशन मालूम होना चाहिए ग्राफ नहीं बिल्कुल देन ही फाउंड आउट दैट फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स आर ए पीरियोडिक फंक्शन ऑफ द एटोमिक वेट्स from this he made a tabular arrangement which later on was found to be similar to mendeleev periodic table this was the earliest attempt of periodic table making the only limitation in lothar mayer's uh, experiment is he only emphasized on physical properties and he did not consider chemical properties that work was done by mendeleev that's why mendeleev's periodic table is much more better than the old one now we take a little information about mendeleev first of all his original periodic law physical and chemical properties of elements are periodic function of the atomic weights he published his periodic table not as a discovery but as a part of his textbook called principles of chemistry most interesting thing is he made periodic table when even electron was not discovered structure of atom to dur ki baat hai electron bhi pata nahi tha at that time he made this table mendeleev after becoming a teacher he later on became member of measurement community So, जैसे हम लोग आज एस आई यूनिट यूज करते हैं वैसे उनका पहले रशिया में एक बड़ा कमिटी जैसे था तो ही वॉज अड ऑफ दैट डिपार्टमेंट एंड ही मेड एट दैट टाइम द मोस्ट एक्यूरेट बैरोमीटर ही डिस्कवर्ड मेनी अदर थिंग्स ऑल्सो एंड टू ऑनर दिस वर्क एटॉमिक नंबर हंड्रेड एंड वन इज नेम्ड एज मेंडेलीवियम you will wonder why these things i am reading historical aspects and all yes, jinke paas pyq ka book hai abhi pyq ka book chemistry ka yes sir i will tell you a page number to open go for page number 162 and see question number 2 asked on this part i am waiting go through it page 162 question 2 yes sir can you see what kind of questions they ask in exam since all these sentences are from ncert line by line you have to know ncert this is a best example you can see jisne ncert read nahi kiya ye part pata nahi hai ye question gaya uska abhi recently 2021 july mein pucha hai all right yes sir yes. remember this stupid facts but they are needed they give you four marks sir so can this... you go to slide one sir lo udhar mein hai piche wala ha uh yes -huh. sir thank you are pdf bhejunga sab is pe rahega this is the original form of periodic table what mendeleev made and in his own original discovery he gave importance to the formula of oxides hydrides then the groups what you see are written as roman number groups group number 1 to 
are divided in subgroups A and B. Under group number eight, there were three columns. Now, if you see, count the number of groups. They are these seven into two. That means fourteen and three. There are eighteen columns. You will see here. I have written nine vertical columns, but you can see actually only eight, because later on, a group of zero group was added immediately after discovery of inert gases. If you now actually count the number of groups, there are actually eighteen groups only in this. So, ये आपके seven into two fourteen, and three seventeen, and zero group that is eighteenth group. So, जैसे आज के periodic table में eighteen group है. वैसे ही उसके टाइम पे भी थे ऑफ कोर्स अरेंजमेंट वेयर डिफरेंट ये सब एटॉमिक वेट पर डिपेंडेंट है अभी हम लोग एटॉमिक नंबर पर करते हैं वी नो सम एडवांटेजेस ऑफ पेंडेलिफ पीरियोडिक टेबल वी हैड डन दिस इवन इन स्कूल लेवल सो प्लीज गो थ्रू दिस फास्ट यू डोंट हैव टू गो इन मच डिटेल्स ऑफ इट क्योंकि इतना डिटेल हम लोग को मेंडेलिफ का भी कॉलेज लेवल में नहीं आता है There are around three to four elements he predicted. In fact, this may say, "I'm look only two textbook me dekhte hain. Ika aluminium, ika silicon. But there are around two, three more he predicted actually. Ika boron. Ika boron. Ika boron. Yes, correct. That's correct. So let us go ahead. I hope this is fine. Now, after this time, lot of in between years, overall development started happening in chemistry. That is rather physics. In fact, cathode rays. Electron structure of atom, Rutherford model of atom, Bohr's model of atom. By this time, new things were discovered. Experimental basis started changing. Henry Moseley measured frequencies of X-rays emitted by a metal. Now, basically, what does this part means actually? You should little bit know about how X-rays are created. the tube which they use for making x ray is somewhat like this in the center it is bulgy like this and it's a long tube this tube is known as coolidge tube scientists who discovered is coolidge on this side we have cathode and quite near to it a bulky anode metal is kept so from here the cathode rays will start jo hum log electron kehte hain usko cathode rays and they will instantly bombard on this metal due to this bombardment x rays are produced now depending on which metal you are taking x rays frequency wavelength everything will change har ek metal ka apna characteristic frequency hota hai so mosley did experiment this way that he made this tube and kept this anode changeable तो उसने यहाँ पे कॉपर रखा कॉपर का एक्सरे निकाला उसका फ्रीक्वेंसी मेजर किया यहाँ पे एल्यूमिनियम उसका फ्रीक्वेंसी जो जो सॉलिड मेटल उसको मिल रहा था उसका उसने यहाँ पे एक ब्लॉक बना के सब के एक्सरे रिकॉर्ड किए उसके फ्रीक्वेंसीज रिकॉर्ड किए दिस वॉज द वर्क ही डिड ही हैड नथिंग टू डू विथ पीरियोडिक टेबल हिज एक्सपेरिमेंट वॉज रिसर्च ऑन एक्सरेज वॉट चेंज वॉज ही फाउंड आउट that is frequencies are related to a particular number which he denoted as z he found out this number is actually atomic number of the element he made a graph of this pattern where frequency square root is plotted here versus atomic number this was a kind of graph he discovered from this discoveries he thought atomic number seems to be a more fundamental property rather than atomic weight and he modified the periodic law with this small change in the statement physical and chemical properties of elements are periodic function of their atomic numbers he reconstructed the periodic table with slight modifications बाकी जो पीरियोडिक टेबल मेंडेलिफ का था उसने सेम रखा स्ट्रक्चर वाइज 
any doubt so far up to this old historical reviews of periodic table after this now we are going to go for modern long form periodic table jo hum log abhi 2 saal use karne wale hain after bohr's theory within few years de broglie heisenberg schrodinger orbital subshell quantum number all these things came and structure of atom became quite modernized later on within few years new lanthanides totally new set of element actinoids were discovered and niels bohr suggested that we must revamp the periodic table using quantum numbers so the modern periodic table which we use was actually suggested by niels bohr and another scientist called bury so it's called bohr bury periodic table but these were not the only people other people also contributed so koi scientist ka naam yahan pe hum log nahi denge so we go for now modern long form periodic table jo hum log abhi study karne wale hain modern long form periodic table you can see there are seven horizontal rows which you call as period there are 18 vertical columns called groups the numbers were originally suggested in to be write, written in roman numbers but later on they were converted into arabic numericals that is normal english numbers 1 to 18 can you all observe one thing over here in periodic table something special hydrogen yes position of hydrogen and you can see it is not present over here as expected in modern long form periodic table it is written separately and hydrogen is actually not connected with any period or any group we will see in the chapter of hydrogen why it is different that way this is the long form periodic table i got a good colored diagram so i have taken it but most of the diagrams on internet don't write hydrogen separately so yes, please sir. excuse that part here you can see they have used different colors for different elements like this purplish color for transition elements lanthanides actinides ke liye alag colors hai you can see a yellowish line drawn over here boron silicon arsenic tellurium astatine tenesine this line ye line ko jo touching elements hai these are all metalloids yes sir so these you have to remember i have given a list at the end of the topic today which are metal non metal you have to remember them continuing further with this in modern long form periodic table we have two things over here to know period 7 and vertical groups 18 go through this part everyone knows about this more correct information we should know about the blocks group number 1 and 2 <coughs> come under s block group 13 to 18 come under p block group numbers 3 to 12 form the d block and the last two series are called f block perhaps now you will understand the significance of the letters spdf they are the sub shells now here onwards you should know each and every information correctly i have tried to give all possible things in our printed notes synopsis also aapko kuch extra lagega to aap isme se likh sakte hain these are the four blocks you can see s block onwards so if i write the group numbers correctly here this is group 1 and 2 this is 3 onwards and this is 13 onwards you can see if you see the count of this s subshell has a capacity of 2 electron p subshell has a capacity of 6 electron d has 10 electrons and f has 14 exactly these numbers are the number of groups you can see s ke andar do hai so 2 electrons under d there are 10 so 3 to 12 comes out to be 10 these are the six electrons so six elements here f 
K14. So these are the 14 columns over here, 14 lanthanides and 14 actinides. So the subshell number of electron exactly match with the number of groups you have. At that time, when a lot of details were not known, Bohr classified the elements in around four categories. First one, inert elements, which are from group 18. Normal or representative elements, S block and P block. Transition elements, which are D block. And inner transition elements, which are F block. When we study this or we uh, see their properties, normal elements are the ones which are most disciplined elements. Jaise expected reactions, hai, jaise expected structures, hai, whatever properties, perfectly shown by these elements S and B block. Sabse achche bachche. Transition yes. elements, little mischievous ones. They start not following Aufbau principle. We have seen in copper and chromium electron yes, transfer sir. that just a trailer. Isse bhi bura hal hai unka aage aage. So transition elements thoda gadbad chalu karte. And most indisciplined elements are inner transition. They don't follow the rules as good as even transition elements. They have their own rules, own chemistry. So hum log abhi 11th mein S block element ka ek chapter karenge. Half P block karenge group 13, 14, 15. 12th standard ke syllabus mein 16, 17, 18, D block and F block. These are the chapters for us. These are the names of your chapters, S block, P block, D block, F block. We go in great details of them. So how useful are the inner transition metals if they are so Inner transition elements. Uh, the elements, element, sir. Of course, they have uses. We are chapter mein uses bhi karne wale iske. Large uses, very large. Cancer treatment is done due to radon. You have seen all the, uh, if you go to Chaupati side anywhere, you can see the lamps, advertisement lamps and all. They are the neon sign lamps. When you see uh, like logo of McDonald of a particular yellowish color, yellowish orange color, that is due to combination of these inert gases with certain materials. So if you change that amount and voltage, color changes. So if you want a particular purple shade of Cadbury chocolate, you have to use the logo of Cadbury, of course. So you have to use that amount of neon with some other salts. It's a neon sign lamp, big industry in world. So not inert gases, uh, inert transition elements. Inert which transition, were a lot mischievous. of uses. A lot of uses. These are majority of them are radioactive elements. They must be used for a lot, lot uses. Hai, karenge, har ek chapter mein sabke uses karne wale. Achha, iska sabse ek simple use bata tau, jo turan mere dimag mein abhi aaya. Have you seen this particular thing? I'll try to draw. Ye kya hai, pata hai kya tum loko? This is a shell of a bullet. Ye yes, bullet ki apne shell ye metallic shell hai aur ye bullet jo hoti actually this is made from lanthanides second use aapke ghar mein kitchen lighter hota hai lighter sab logo ne dekha hoga is tarah se aisa bada lighter hota hai right and we press the button to start right iske jo andar jahan se spark aata hai wo jo andar ka material hai that is made up of lanthanides oh okay Right. So, so the one that produces the spark is made yes, of that is known as a pyroelectric material. Pyroelectric when it pyro comes in contact yeah. with the no 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 pyro means fire. Electric is electric. So it causes fire due to electricity. Got it. So a lot of use. I'm look chapter me uses current. Use this ka use ni look parate in use. Sure. We come to now only modern long form periodic table and we forget all the old things, Mendeleev and everything. Only focus on this. In modern periodic table, you have seen already the basic stuff. Just, just a revision of whole periodic table again. Observe certain points here. Hydrogen alag hai, wo hum log ne bol diya. Lanthanum you can see is over here. Lanthanum 57. And after that, 58 to 71 are out here, lanthanide series. Important thing is the element lanthanum 
is not an f block element it is a d block element only 58 to 71 are lanthanides similarly 89 itself is a d block element 90 to 103 are f block elements bahut sare periodic table mein aap net pe dekho textbook pe dekho la aur acb yahan niche likha rehta hai we actually use them for comparison purpose but remember they are d block elements we are now going to just take information about period in detail groups in detail and their relation with quantum numbers and configuration i am showing this thing read it up easy stuff after christmas vacation we start offline classes we'll give you soon a timetable batch wise branch wise everything we will take a consent letter from the parents also in google form sir this we have to not add now नहीं जरूरत नहीं इतना आप वो समरी टेबल्स बाद में आएंगे मतलब पीरियड में क्या डिटेल है इसमें से ना खाली एक्चुअली इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट इतना ही है पीरियड द नंबर ऑफ द पीरियड इज प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर आई विल शो दैट इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड दिस इज एक्चुअली द इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट सो वी कम टू दैट पार्ट नाउ एंड डिटेल्स ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट पीरियड contains only two elements as you know hydrogen and helium so it is termed as the shortest period second and third they contain eight elements that's why they are called short fourth and fifth contain 18 elements they are called long and sixth and seventh contain 32 elements that is called longest if you observe these numbers are related somewhere you know what is that can you recollect Two eight eighteen number of electrons in a particular shell by the formula two n square. So now you can see we are start going to link these things with quantum numbers and all. So these numbers were termed as magic numbers because the number of element match with the two n square formula. So they just gave a fancy name to it, magic numbers. You have to know this table by heart. more details about how the filling of orbitals happen in this whole periodic table so in first period hydrogen and helium if you see the only orbital filled is 1s 1s1 1s2 khatam second period mein it will start from 2s 2s1 2s2 then go to 2p 1 to 6 in third it continues in a same manner but in fourth now after 4s 3d orbital opens it finishes then it goes to 4p fifth it's a replica 5s 4d and 5p sixth after 6s there will be 4f orbital then d and p same in seventh now if you read this sequence you will understand 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p 4s 3d 4p 5s you can see this is nothing but of bow principle moreover if you see this column wise ye wala dekho aap ye pura s block hai periodic table ka ye pura p block hai this is d block and this is f block so of bow principle its sequence is replica in the periodic table 100% ye table aapka by heart hona hi chahiye ye sequence jaise tabular form mein likha aapko aana chahiye so writing that once again with respect to elements first period 1s orbital is filled there are two elements starting from hydrogen ending with helium in second period now there are eight elements starting with lithium 
एंडिंग विथ नियॉन अभी आपको एट नंबर का इंफॉर्मेशन इंपॉर्टेंस समझ में आएगा एस का कैपेसिटी है दो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स का पी का कितना होता है कैपेसिटी सिक्स तो सिक्स प्लस टू बिकम्स एट सो एवरी एलिमेंट इज फीलिंग ऑफ द ऑर्बिटल थर्ड इज जस्ट अ रेप्लिका ओनली एलिमेंट आर डिफरेंट इन फोर्थ नाउ डी ऑर्बिटल इंट्रोड्यूसेस सो सिक्स प्लस टेन प्लस टू एटीन एलिमेंट्स फिफ्थ ऑल्सो इट विल बी सिमिलर सिक्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट हैविंग एफ ऑर्बिटल ओवर हियर सो उसके फोर्टीन यहां एड हो गए सो थर्टी टू एलिमेंट्स लेंथनम के बाद नीचे आएंगे लेंथनाइड्स एंडिंग विथ इनर्ट गैस सेवंथ में ऐसे ही आपके एक्टिनियम आने के बाद नीचे आएंगे एक्टिनाइड्स सो दिस इज अ रफ आइडिया ऑफ योर पीरियोडिक टेबल दिस इज अ रिपीटेशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस टेबल वो आपको अगर याद आ रहा है तो इसकी फिर से जरूरत नहीं है दीज आर ब्लॉक वाइज एलिमेंट्स रिटर्न यू कैन सी Now this diagram gives you about in every row, every period, which orbits are getting filled. So one s is getting filled here, completed here. Two s in these two elements. Two p in these six, like that. Three d in these ten elements. मतलब three d one, three d two, three d three, three d four ऐसे fill up होगा. जैसे four f one, two, three, four, fourteen तक fill up होगा. their other names also are mentioned main group elements s block and p block transition d block inner transition f block isi ka ncrt ka thoda alag se table hai unhone block wise separately acha diya hai ncrt was published in 2004 to us time pe ye niche ke elements discover nahi hue the इनके नाम उन्होंने नहीं दिए थे नाउ वी नो ऑल द एलिमेंट्स नेम्स सर हीलियम हीलियम एक्चुअली इज अ लिटिल ड्यूबियस जस्ट लाइक हाइड्रोजन वो प्रॉपर्टी वाइज इनर्ट गैस के साथ है इसके लिए पी ब्लॉक में आता है लेकिन कॉन्फ़िगरेशन वाइज इट कम्स इन एस ब्लॉक तो जैसे हाइड्रोजन का पोजीशन गड़बड़ है वैसे ही हीलियम का भी गड़बड़ है प्रॉपर्टी वाइज हम लोग जब स्टडी करेंगे वी विल शो दिस विथ ग्रुप 18 इनर्ट गैस ओनली कॉन्फ़िगरेशन वाइज ऑफ कोर्स वो पी ब्लॉक हो ही नहीं सकता क्योंकि पी ऑर्बिटल ही नहीं है उसमें दैट्स अ ट्रबल विथ बोथ दीज एलिमेंट्स हाइड्रोजन हीलियम के साथ वी नाउ कम टू द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट ग्रुप्स नाउ गो थ्रू दीज पॉइंट्स now here onwards we have to know all the elements group wise by heart so s block we have group 1 and group 2 elements so group 1 consists of lithium to francium group 2 is beryllium to radium aapko ye pura sequence group wise hi by heart karna hai remember that do not remember now periodic table in horizontal way uska kuch fayda nahi hota hai So, हम लोग एस ब्लॉक और पी ब्लॉक ग्रुप वाइज करेंगे डी ब्लॉक एफ ब्लॉक वी हैव टू डू हॉरिजॉन्टली बिकॉज द प्रॉपर्टी इज चेंज लाइक दैट हियर यू कैन ऑब्जर्व द कॉन्फ़िगरेशन लिथियम में है टू एस वन सोडियम थ्री एस वन ओनली आउटर मोस्ट इज रिटर्न यू कैन सी वैसे ही यहां पर टू एस टू थ्री एस टू फोर एस टू फाइव एस टू सिक्स एस टू सेवन एस टू सो ग्रुप वन का जनरल कॉन्फ़िगरेशन इज एन एस वन ग्रुप टू का है एन एस टू सो जनरली कॉन्फ़िगरेशन इज एन एस वन टू टू सिंस दे हैव आउटर मोस्ट ऑर्बिटल एज एस ऑर्बिटल एस सबशेल दे आर कॉल्ड एस ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स वाइल नोइंग दिस यू हैव टू नो द नेम्स ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स सो मैंने ये टेबल डाला है आपको सभी एलिमेंट्स के नेम्स के लिए 
बाय हार्ट इट एज अर्ली एज पॉसिबल क्योंकि इसके बाद हम लोग एस ब्लॉक एलिमेंट चैप्टर करेंगे उस टाइम आपको अगर सब ये बाय हार्ट है तो आपका डायरेक्टली चैप्टर पहला दो तीन पेज उधर ही हो जाएगा कॉन्फ़िगरेशन नेम्स बिकम्स इजी टू स्टार्ट सर वी हैव टू बाय हार्ट दिस टेबल और द लास्ट टेबल इट्स द सेम थिंग इसमें खाली नेम्स दिए हैं मैंने और इसमें कॉन्फ़िगरेशन के साथ दिया है यही टेबल है बी ई इज बेरिलियम ये मैंने यहां पे स्पेलिंग्स के साथ डाला है सो आपको सिंबल्स आएंगे खाली स्पेलिंग एग्जाम में लिखने को नहीं आता है यू हैव टू ओनली राइट द सिंबल्स सेम वे व्हेन यू गो फॉर पी ब्लॉक आई एम डिवाइडिंग इट इन टू सेक्शंस ग्रुप 13 14 एंड 15 सो 13th ग्रुप इज नोन एज बोरॉन फैमिली 14th इज कॉल्ड कार्बन फैमिली एंड 15th ग्रुप इज कॉल्ड नाइट्रोजन फैमिली इफ यू सी देयर कॉन्फिगरेशन इन जनरल यहां पे देखो ये सब का कॉन्फिगरेशन एनएस2 NP1 है ग्रुप 14 में आ जाता है एनएस2 NP2 एंड ग्रुप 15 इज एनएस2 NP3 दीज थ्री कॉलम्स वी विल बी स्टडिंग इन 11 स्टैंडर्ड टॉपिक these are the names of elements boron aluminum gallium indium thallium carbon silicon germanium tin lead nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth last ke jo teen elements hai neonium flerovium moscovium we don't study them in our syllabus they are quite recent elements and their properties are not 100% known yet next comes group 16 17 and 18 so you can now make your own configuration from this general configuration ns2 np4 for group 16 ns2 np5 for group 17 and ns2 np6 for group 18 so together for entire p block the configuration is ns2 np 1 se leke 6 tak gradual filling these elements this chapter we will be doing in 12th standard chapter ka naam hai elements of group 16 17 we come to d block elements after this and as i said d block you have to know like horizontal period not vertical column because these properties keep on changing this way we have to study them in horizontal way now as you know these are called transition elements so ye jo first row hai scandium wali that is called first transition series vitrium wali jo hai they are called second transition series third transition series is lanthanum wali and actinium wali is fourth transition series their outermost configurations you can see perhaps you will understand ye two or one maine likha hai because of chromium and copper kind of things ye baki ke pure block mein bhi hone wala hai sab jagah so their general configuration can be written this way i hope everyone understands what is ns and n minus 1 jaise yahan pe fourth is n Four minus one is the three number here. D orbital ka number is always one number lesser than S orbital ka number. Just for your information, names of the elements. Ye 3D series aapko pata hoga. Scandium se leke zinc tak. Similar to this, we have to know the 4D series by heart. Vitrium, zirconium, niobium, molybdenum. technetium rudenium rhodium palladium silver and cadmium so bolo so we need to learn the d block also now uh, actually topic is in 12th standard but right now if you know elements up to 30 it's fine right now matlab pehle wala series tha na that is okay yahan tak theek hai rest of the d block and f block i have given for your reference right now we need them in 12th standard अभी हम लोग डी ब्लॉक के क्वेश्चंस नहीं करेंगे ये चैप्टर में 
इन फैक्ट आई विल गिव यू नेमोनिक्स ऑल्सो टू रिमेम्बर दीज थिंग्स सेंटेंसेस दूंगा मैं जब ये टॉपिक हम लोग करेंगे राइट नाउ डोंट वरी मच अबाउट इट सिमिलरली वी हैव एफ ब्लॉक वेर लैंथनाइड्स एंड एक्टिनाइड्स आर रिटर्न द फर्स्ट रो इज लैंथनाइड्स लेटर रो इज एक्टिनाइड्स और उनके ऑर्बिटल देखो सिक्स एस फाइव डी एंड फोर एफ सो द जनरल कॉन्फिग्रेशन इज एन एस एन माइनस वन डी एंड एन माइनस टू एफ अगेन रेफरेंस ऑफ लेंथनाइड आई गिवन हियर नेम्स ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स दिस इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड वेन वी डू पीरियोडिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑल्सो हम लोग डी और एफ की बात नहीं करेंगे हम लोग खाली एस और पी करेंगे Now these characteristics I'm showing over here. I'm not reading anything from it. If you have any doubt, please ask me. Frankly speaking, ये section ज़्यादा करके college exams में आता है. JE में ये नहीं कोई पूछते हैं क्योंकि हम लोग वैसे ही S block, P block के chapters करते हैं. तो ये ज़्यादा कुछ कोई पूछता नहीं है. But go through it. Uh, short notes में मत add करना इसको. Not necessary. Don't waste your time. रीड कर लो एक बार एग्जाम से पहले लेकिन बाय हार्ट एच सच करने की जरूरत नहीं है सर राइट नाउ व्हाट एवर टीचिंग इज जस्ट लाइक द बेसिक स्टफ दैट दे डोंट यूजुअली आस्क नो अ ऐसा कुछ नहीं आई हैव शोड यू वन पार्ट ऑफ मेंडेल इफ यू वाज आस्क्ड हां यार ऐसा okay. कुछ गारंटी अरे जेई का कुछ गारंटी नहीं यार ये लोग कुछ भी करते हैं वो मेंडेल इफ का क्वेश्चन देख के स्टूडेंट पागल हो गए थे किसी ने सोचा नहीं ऐसा क्वेश्चन आएगा वन क्वेश्चन दैट पर्टिकुलर बैच व्हेन इट वाज शोन स्टूडेंट लॉस्ट मार्क्स क्या होता है मालूम है ये सब प्रॉब्लम ना सिर्फ महाराष्ट्र में होता है बिकॉज वी आर नॉट यूजिंग एनसीआरटी एज अवर टेक्स्ट बुक सीबीएसई बोर्ड जो होता है वो लोग ये अपना जी उनके लिए वो जी है सो दे स्टडी कॉलेज एग्जाम ऑल्सो फ्रॉम दिस नीट फ्रॉम दिस जेई फ्रॉम दिस एवरीथिंग तो उनके लिए कुछ अलग नहीं होता है प्रॉब्लम हम लोग को होता है जहाँ पे दो अलग टेक्स्ट बुक्स है वी आर इन अ फिक्स तो आपको ये सब दे रहा हूं, है। आपको अभी ट्वेल्थ में जाओगे तो आपको बोर्ड के लिए जी टी बी करना पड़ता है और जेई के लिए ये सब जो दिखा रहा हूँ ये एनसीआर टी में से है जी टी बी इज अब सेट ऑफ एनसीआर टी लेकिन ट्वेल्थ में केमिस्ट्री में टॉपिक टॉपिक्स काफी सिमिलर है टेक्स्ट बुक तो ऑलमोस्ट कॉपी मारा है उन्होंने मतलब ज्यादा फर्क नहीं है केमिस्ट्री का इलेवेंथ में है थोड़ा फर्क ट्वेल्थ में इट्स मोर और लेस सेम ऑलमोस्ट सेम फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री और इनऑर्गेनिक तो लगभग नाइनटी फाइव नाइनटी एट परसेंट सेम ही है थोड़ा सा एनसीईआरटी में ज्यादा है बस so this year while studying for the tuition ke test also i haven't even opened any of the textbooks so it's fine no? if i study only from the video lectures dene wale bhi nahi hai aapko 12th mein ट्वेल्थ में हम लोग खाली अपने क्वेश्चन आंसर के नोट्स आपको देंगे एचएससी के लिए और बाकी जेई के लिए ये जो हम लोग दे रहे हैं इससे बस हम लोग टेक्स्ट बुक देने वाले भी नहीं है आप फिजिकल कॉपी ऑफ द टेक्सट बुक नॉट नीडेड यू आर गु वेस्ट योर मनी कोई पड़ता नहीं और जी टी बी का ग्रुप हाँ 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 जैसे ट्वेल्थ चालू होगा भेज देंगे हम लोग ऑफिशियली सभी सब्जेक्ट का बट डोंट परचेस टेक्सट बुक्स एंड ऑल इट्स नॉट नीडेड और टेक्स्ट बुक के अंदर जितने सारे क्वेश्चंस होते हैं ना वो हम लोग अपने नोट्स में सॉल्व करके दिए आपको बिहाइंड द टेक्स्ट इन टेक्स्ट वो हो गया आपका जीटीबी का काम हो गया एच का और कुछ जरूरत ही नहीं करने की डोंट गो फॉर एनी डाइजेस्ट इन ट्वेल्थ ट्वेंटी वन मोस्ट लाइकली क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन बैंक कुछ जरूरत नहीं अवर मटेरियल इज मोर देन सफिशियंट विल गो फॉर वन लास्ट समरी अबाउट द ब्लॉक वाइज कॉन्फिग्रेशन थिंग ये अभी तक जितना किया उसका ये सिंपल समरी है ब्लॉक वाइज खाली ये आप याद रखना आपके टेबल में डाल दो दिस इज अ टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वी गेट यू मस्ट वी हैड डन दिस इवन इन एच एस टाइम हाउ टू डिटरमाइन पीरियड ऑफ अ एलिमेंट फ्रॉम इट्स कॉन्फिगरेशन सो द प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर व्हाट यू सी इन द कॉन्फिग्रेशन इज द पीरियड नंबर फॉर एग्जाम्पल किसी ने आपको ये दिया तो इसमें देख सकते हैं हाईएस्ट नंबर इज थ्री वन टू थ्री दीज आर द प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर सो थ्री इंडिकेट्स 
that the, the element belongs to period number थ्री अब जिनको प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर वैलेंस शेल ये सब समझ भी नहीं आता है सिंपल थिंग फाइंड द हाइएस्ट नंबर इन द कॉन्फिग्रेशन थ्री दैट इज द पीरियड नंबर इसमें देखना हाइएस्ट नंबर आई कैन सी इज फोर सो पीरियड नंबर इज फोर वेरी इजी वंस यू नो द पीरियड दे कैन आस्क यू अबाउट द ब्लॉक if it is s block it's quite easy like you find out the outermost orbit jaise abhi kiya tha aur wohi uska block hai s block lekin isme thoda problem hota hai jab ye d block rehta hai kyunki d mein problem hai ki uska configuration andar ki taraf hai dekho abhi koi yahan pe 4s outermost likhne jayega to galti se likhega s block which is wrong actually so you have to be little careful here when it comes to d orbitals p fir se simple hai outermost p hai to wo block p hota hai you have to be cautious with d remember that abhi jaise aapko block samajh mein aa gaya to accordingly aap group number kar sakte ho uske liye aapke paas teen formula hai if element is belonging to the s block you can see 3s to formula dekho group number equal to नंबर ऑफ द वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन अभी यहां पे वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन है वन सो ग्रुप नंबर है वन ऐसे ही अगर मुझे पी दिया एलिमेंट तो ये इसका पी ब्लॉक दिख रहा है सीधा तो फॉर्मूला देखना ट्वेल्व प्लस दिस नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन सो दैट मेक्स इट सिक्सटीन सो दिस एलिमेंट बिलोंग्स टू ग्रुप नंबर सिक्सटीन फिर से डी के लिए थोड़ा कॉशियस रहना पड़ेगा थ्री डी है तो ब्लॉक डी so number of the group is you can see 2 plus the number of electron so that is 2 plus 1 3 so what here is n minus 3d na kya ha n minus 1 d isme subtract nahi karna hai ye 3d n minus 1 hai raja ye 4n okay. hai ye 3 hai samjha na sir don't imagine a subtraction here please n minus one d is the number of the orbital, d d orbital, ठीक है ना? Now uh, this part also we had done at that time in HSC. When you have atomic number more than hundred, initially the names of the elements were not given. So for naming any newly discovered element, we have to use the IUPAC system over here. So IUPAC suggests that you must have numbers and their names so agar number 0 hai to you call it nil its first letter n is taken if it is one it is un coming from uni by tri tetra is not written because t will be repeated so they write quad pent hex instead of hept kyunki h repeat hoga sept likha hai oct नैनो की जगह एनिया क्योंकि एन लिखेंगे तो नील के साथ रिपीट होगा ना हाउ डू वी यूज इट यू कैन सी हियर हंड्रेड एंड वन में हंड्रेड प्लेस इज वन सो दैट इज टेकन एज अन देंस प्लेस इज जीरो रिटर्न एज नील लास्ट वन प्लेस दैट इज यूनिट प्लेस इज वन सो इट इज अन सो सिंबल ऑफ द एलिमेंट बिकम्स यू एन यू and the name written is un nil un em un nil un and last ending word is em for every element suppose it is 113 so it comes out to be u u t un un tri em i hope the rules are clear everyone ye table aapko by heart aana chahiye jinke paas abhi pyq ka book hai page number 162 open karke dekho page 162 question number 4 813 question number 4 813 based on this information
दिस आई हैव सॉल्व फॉर यू हंड्रेड एंड वन टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सो ये हंड्रेड एंड टेन तक है इनके ये मॉडर्न नेम से अभी जो असाइन किए हैं आयु पैक ने फाइनली एंड देन यू हैव हंड्रेड एंड इलेवन टू वन ट्वेंटी उसमें से नाइनटीन और ट्वेंटी अभी फिलहाल डिस्कवर नहीं हुआ है वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस सर वी हैव टू रिमेंबर द ऑफिशियल नेम आल्सो यस एब्सोल्युटली यू हैव टू नो ऑफिशियल नेम्स आल्सो क्योंकि आपके इसमें नहीं है लेकिन नीट में क्वेश्चन आ चुका है नीट में एक सेकंड आई विल गिव मी वन सेकंड आई विल टेल यू नीट का क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दिस आई थिंक रिसेंटली इट केम 19 में शायद आया था गिव मी वन सेकंड आई विल रीड आउट द क्वेश्चन ऑफ नीट बेस्ड ऑन दिस हां उनका क्वेश्चन था लेफ्ट हैंड कॉलम में मैच द कॉलम था लेफ्ट हैंड कॉलम में दिया है अनिल अनियम अन अनिल ट्राइम अनिल एक्सियम अनिल अनियम और राइट हैंड साइड में लिखा है मेंडेलिवियम लॉरेंसियम सीबोर्गियम डर्म स्टेडियम एंड यू हैव टू मैच द थिंग्स क्वेश्चन आस्ट इन नीट 2020 सो आपको बेसिकली ये सब कुछ आना चाहिए लास्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द टॉपिक एंड वी कंप्लीट अवर फर्स्ट टू पार्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक दिस इज द लिस्ट ऑफ मेटल्स नॉन मेटल्स अभी मेटल का लिस्ट नहीं डाला है क्योंकि दे से अकॉर्डिंग टू एनसीआर टी सेवेंटी एट परसेंट ऑफ द पीरियोडिक टेबल इज मेटल्स ओनली सो ऑल एस ब्लॉक एंटायर डी ब्लॉक एंटायर एफ ब्लॉक एंड लिटिल ऑफ पी ब्लॉक ऑल आर मेटल्स ओनली लिस्ट लिखेंगे कितना लिखेंगे नॉन मेटल का मैंने डाला है जितने सारे नॉन मेटल्स है ये सभी नॉन मेटल्स है आपके पीरियोडिक टेबल में और मेटेलॉइड्स भी बहुत कम है ये सब मेटेलॉइड्स हैं। दिस इज एन इंफॉर्मेशन डिरेक्टली टेकन फ्रॉम एनसीआर टी सो बेटर यू शुड नो दिस जस्ट गो ऑन रीडिंग दिस अगेन एंड अगेन यू विल रिकलेक्ट द इन्फॉर्मेशन वी हैव कंप्लीटेड टूडे पार्ट नंबर वन एंड पार्ट नंबर टू ऑफ अवर एमसीक्यू सेट यू आर रेडी टू सॉल्व राइट नाउ नाइंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन बहुत सिंपल क्वेश्चन है टेक्स्ट बेस्ड है कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं कुछ नहीं टेंशन नहीं बहुत सिंपल है ट्यूसडे से पहले जल्दी जल्दी खत्म करो ट्यूसडे के दिन हम लोग चैप्टर खत्म करेंगे ऑल राइट सर